Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I'll be using a small bodied tenor ukulele, but really any ukulele will be fine. So let's get started. In this video we'll be talking about open tunings. That means the ukulele is tuned to an actual chord, not G, C, E, A. In this video we are tuned G, the string nearest your chin, C, E, C, G, C, E, C, and that makes a C chord. It will be the same as tune normally and placing your finger at the third fret to make it a C chord. What we've done is took this string here which is an A and tuned it up to this position here which is a C. So the tuning is G, C, E, C. And with no hand pressing down that makes a C chord. So let's get started. Before we go any further not all ukuleles will take this tuning because you're tuning this bottom string further past A. Most sopranos and concerts should take it but be careful on tenors because you've stretched the string in extra three frets to make it a C chord. But bear that in mind when you're tuning your ukulele. There is a reason for this type of strum and it can be quite useful if you have limited use of your fretting hand. If you can only use a couple of fingers to fret a chord, this tuning enables you to play most chords with one finger, which we will cover in this video. So we have a C chord. If you're playing a song in C, that's the chord you'll be using the most. The F chord is found at the 5th fret and the G chord, you can use G instead of G7 or vice versa, is at the 7th fret. So we've got an open chord, that's a C chord now. 5th fret is F, foxtrot chord, F, and at the 7th fret, that's your G chord, golf chord, your G chord. So, let's get playing. So for now we'll play a 12 bar blues in the key of C. I'll put the chords in the description down below. Please remember for now it's four down strums per letter. So let's get started. There are four bars of C. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Then there are two bars of F, Foxtrot, so you bar at the 5th fret, two bars. Then back to two bars of C, open strings. One bar of G, Golf, at the 7th. One bar of F, Foxtrot, at the 5th. Then open strings for two. So now we'll play that all in one go. After four, one, two, three, four. Repeat C C C C F chord C Golf Foxtrot back to C So now we've played it with a simple strum, we'll now add the upstrokes. On the 1, 2, 3, 4, we are strumming down towards the floor. On the ands, we're strumming up. So, after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4.
to finish that was one strum on the fifth on the seventh fret sorry the G chord one strum on the fifth fret the F chord then a C to finish So with this drum, if you struggle to fret chords for various reasons, you can use this tuning and simply use one finger up and down the fretboard. It's very similar to a sort of style of a slide guitarist or lap steel guitarist would use. They're tuned to an open chord and use slides to generate all the others. So, if you see a C chord, that's fine. An F chord is at the 5th fret and a G chord is at the 7th. In this case, your G chord could be a G or a G7. You can still use that single finger and it will be fine as long as you're in the key of C. So now we'll move on to playing in other keys. So you need to be able to play in more keys than just C. So in this case, we'll take D. So the D chord is at the second fret. All the strings are barred at the 2nd fret and that's your D chord. The next chord you need is a G chord where well, you know that, that's at the 7th. And you need one more chord to really play in the key of D and that is the ninth fret. So I'll go for them again. We've got a D chord, a delta chord is at the 2nd fret. Your G chord we've used previously is at the 7th fret and your alpha chord is at the 9th. So one more time, delta, D chord, 2nd, golf, your G chord at the 7th and alpha, your A chord at the 9th. So now we'll play the same 12 bar blues again, this time you're playing it in delta, the key of D, delta. So there's four bars of D. As usual, I'll write the chords in the description down below. For now, we're doing four strums per letter. So, after four, one, two, three, four. Then there's two bars of G at the 7th, golf at the 7th. Then back to the 2nd fret, delta, D for two bars. Then one bar at the 9th for your alpha chord. One bar at the 7th for your golf chord. And one bar, at, two bars at the second, sorry, for your delta chord. So again, we'll play that now without pausing. After four, one, two, three, four. Try that again after four. One, two, three, four. So now we'll play that with an upstroke added in. This time one and two and three and four and on the one, two, three and four you're strumming down towards the ground and on the ends you're strumming up towards the ceiling. And remember it is down up, down up, down up, down up, one and two and three and four and to each letter mentioned in the description down below. So let's get started. One, two, three, four.
So we'll try that again. After four. One, two, three, four. So now you can play in two keys. Actually you can play in all the major keys with this tuning. Your starting position is always the same and you move down so many steps, or frets I should say, to get to the fourth and fifth chord. So now we'll do the chord of G, the key of G I should say. So we are starting at the seventh fret, which is your G chord. Your C chord, you know, is open strings. And your D chord is at the 2nd fret. So you've got G at the 7th, C on the open, and D at the 2nd. So again, the 12 bar blues in the key of G will be 4 bars of G. I'll write the description down below. So it's 4 bars of G at the 7th. After 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then two bars of open strings. Then back to two bars at the seventh. Then one bar of D at the second. Open strings for the C for one bar. Then back to the seventh for G. So now we'll play that chord sequence using this open tuning. So after four, we're starting at the seventh. One, two, three, four. So we'll try that again, starting at the 7th fret, the 12 bar blues in the key of G. Like I said, I always say I'll put the chords in the description below, it is for the moment 4 downstrokes per letter. So, after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This time we'll play through it again, remembering 1, 2, 3, 4, the count you're strumming down towards the floor, and on the and you're strumming up towards the ceiling. So, after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4.
Well, I hope you found this video useful by Blackpool Music Skill. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Like I said earlier in the video, this is a lesson designed for people who have limited fretting hand movement. It's a way for them to be able to play songs with relative ease or be able to play a few songs. That's what music's all about, being able to play songs. Like I said, not all ukuleles will take this tuning. This is a tenor uke and it, it does take this tuning. But normally soprano and concert work best with this tuning. To recap, we are tuned G, C, E, C. That is the same as being tuned normally and playing a C chord. That's all the open tuning means. It means that is an open chord and as well you may have seen me doing that when playing the C chord on the ute you don't have to do that you can just keep the ute like that and not press any strings I'm just doing that so you can see I'm not fretting anything so until next time take care keep playing and goodbye